Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. Kicking back a juice at the beach. Had a ripper of a day. Uh, bumped into Team Sky Art training. They hit the local mountains this morning for tag along. I've done uh, 240 kilometers today. Lovely day. Here's some clips throughout the day. I'll talk you through it. I love the quote from the, what's the name? Edmund Hillary, the Mount Everest dude. He says, Real adventure is something you cannot pay money for. And that's what I love about the bicycle. You don't know what's going to happen on the bike. Get out there, even if you're in a wheelchair. Get out there every day. Live the adventure, man. Get out there and fucking enjoy it. Life's fucking short. So we're cruising up Mount Lofty and uh, just sitting behind the team car now. So it's the top of the mountain. Doing it easy, guys. Doing it easy. And uh, it's a beautiful day for it. It's very hot yesterday. I did to 257 yesterday. So I got to Skype a few hours. See the legs feel. And uh, trying to do another 200 kg day today. So I'll edit this video, put it up. This is Adelaide, mate. Welcome to fucking the best cycling on earth. Isn't that cute during I've been excited to be out on the bike with the lads. Green Hill Road was cycling up. Team Sky here for two and under 2014 doing some prep. We're bombing down Gorge Road. Popular, fast descent, pretty smooth, pretty safe. Uh, cruising now, beautiful place. Adelaide is world class. Lads bombing past. This is to be a professional cyclist, you have to be willing to go at breakneck speed. You have to be willing to go over the barriers, into the big walls. You have to be willing to break your fucking legs, pretty much. Cruising down. Uh, this looks like back of Oak Bank somewhere, Richie Port in the back, I think. So basically, you have seven riders, a team of seven. And the riders take turns, swapping off at the front. They probably stay on the front for about five, five kilometers average. Two riders at the front and then swap over. Uh, we'll answer some basic questions here. It might be boring for some people, but... Uh, so we have Richie Port here, back at the team car. Often the riders go back, pick up water bottles, have a bit of a discussion with the director, a bit of a chat, can take a photo, whatever. Talk about the, the ride during the day. Basically these guys are doing some training for the turn under. Check out the course, check out the climbs, check out the finishes. Because cycling is all about the sport of details, marginal gains, as they say. So little things that add up. It's the going around the corner, saving a few watts here, getting the draft there. It's the little things, it's the little things, positioning in the bunch so you're ready for the sprint or the climb or the descent, being aware of potholes, etc. So the riders ride two abreast and we just cruise along. So you can see the riders all using power meters. These bikes are the Pinarellos with the SRM cranks, but now they're switching to the stages cycling power meter. That's right, Team Sky is going to be running the stages. You can watch some of the Durham rider videos maybe. <laughs> but uh, we're cruising along here up the little hill. What sort of average speed did we do? I'll tell you what, guys and girls. Average speed means nothing. It means nothing. Because you can go on the hills. You can go on a headwind. You can be sitting on the back of the bunch. All right? So average speed means nothing. There's so many variables. What these guys do and girls do, professional riders, they ride to wattage. So they all get told before they go out, oh, okay, guys and girls, we're going to ride at X, Y, Z watts per kilo. When you're on the front, you ride at this watts per kilo. And... That's how it is. So that's what they do. Otherwise, average speed, man, this is crazy. Because what about the wind? What about you sit on the back? You know, you're like, average speed means nothing. It means nothing. You might go out into a headwind and come back into a headwind. So your average speed gets affected. So it means nothing. But power, your wattage is absolute. It's absolute. So cruise along here. So you can see it's pretty, pretty cash. Pretty cash pace. We did go up corkscrew twice. <laughs> and, uh... Richie and Phil fucking hit it up there at least six and a half watts per kilo just lit it fucking up and uh, this is the back of the team car The team sky sponsored by Jag and they do a special little paint job. I think it's pretty cool 
guys stopping for a nature break, which is great because it saves a lot of water. And that's what the, that's what the soil needs, you know. That's what we're designed to do. Feed the plants. Feed the plants. Every two hours or so, stop for a nature break. Water the bushes. That's what it's about. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. I know a lot of girls go, so it's easy if you're a guy. You can just stop and wear the bushes. If you're a girl, hit the bushes, man. you got to stay hydrated. You want to burn fat? you got to stay hydrated. you got to stay hydrated. This is the top of Green Hill Road. Team car again. So you can see, get a picture. The team car goes ahead, stops a bit, get some water bottles ready. These guys drink a lot of water. They drink a lot of water, get food bananas, they drink sports drink, they have little energy sugary bars, carbs, 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 water, water, water. That's what it takes. Because you've got to fuel the fuel the motor. You've got to fuel the motor. If you want to burn fat, man, you've got to get the carbs in so you can keep cruising, keep doing stuff, keep thinking, keep... keep even if you use your brain, even if you have an office job like I do, I eat almost as many carbs sitting down using the YouTube and internet emails as I do riding a bike with the pro riders. So you need carbs, man. Whatever your job you do, if you're riding a bike or if you're sitting behind the desk, you need carbs for energy. But we don't promote 100% sedentary lifestyle, do we? We promote getting out there, getting amongst it. So again, lads, they spin the gears. What gears are they using? Most of them use a 39, 26, or a 20 out in the back, typically. Um, and most of them, when they're racing, spin about 80 to 100 cadence. You can see a lot of the guys, Richie Port, he likes to spin a lot, a bit like Chris Froome. So he's always pretty much in the easy gear, spinning, spinning, spinning. Your legs definitely feel fresher that way. I definitely prefer the spinning these days after using a power meter. And uh, get out the saddle there. It alleviates the muscles, alleviates the uh, pressure on the gooch. And just, that's why a good tip is if you're out for a long ride, get off, get off dance, in the, dance in the pedals a little bit. Get off the saddle, get off the saddle a little bit. Uh, I like to do that myself. It helps uh, distribute blood to other areas of the legs, utilize different muscle groups, and it just gives a bit of a break, a bit of a breather. So cruising that greener road still. It's a long road. The greener road's about 12k climb. It's Adelaide's longest climb, longest climb in South Australia. Beautiful climb, Green Hill Road. Really enjoy it. Quite a uh, popular climb for cyclists. 12 k's up, and uh, popular on the Strava, Strava segments as well. We did see a koala up here. It's been very hot. The weather has been very hot. Yesterday it was like 45 degrees Celsius. Today it was like 42 degrees Celsius or whatever. So it's very hot. It's just sweating. I reckon I'll sweat out some gunk from like 1986 today. Just deep sweat and the fresh air pumping your lymphatic system. Can't beat it. Can't beat the bicycle or getting out there on the wheels. Team car stopped again. So that's my tip. If you're in a wheelchair or if you're on a bike, just get out there. Just move your body. You don't have to go crazy. But get out there and just move it. Get a bit of a bit of breath on. Get your breathing up there a little bit. Just so you can still talk. But you know, feel your breathing. Look at the sky. There must be a, a pigeon in the sky. I was just trying to film. <laughs> Cruising back into the city, all these riders stay at the Hilton Hotel in Adelaide, which is great because it makes it easy for the teams regarding transfers. Now, it's just all in one base for basically two weeks. It's fantastic. It's a great week. So if you enjoy cycling, come visit Adelaide. Tour down under.